I should probably get a shave at some point, too. My beard's growing out again. Rachel, you left your post again. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had many problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. I thought we were going to go see Sadie. to work.
just keeps building fences around and around and around until there's like 15 layers of fence. <laughs> All I know to do is build fences and milk cows. But that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Actually, can I go shave? Hey, Rachel, you're back. Stop wandering off, you darn horse. Can't shave. Fooey. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. John Marston's back. 
Owned by John Marston, this personalized Cowman revolver features a blackened steel finish and a custom bone grip. However, after years of reckless gunslinging and crime, this sidearm has seen better days. This gun has an ammo capacity of six rounds. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know what? Let's head to Blackwater. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Cruel, cruel world I'm moving on. This is a nice song. I've been living too fast and I've been living too This big old world sure got me running around. I heard a voice that said, just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. I gotta say, this game has a lot of nice songs in it. So much pain. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel world. Cruel, cruel world must I go on. Cruel, cruel world I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I've been living too fast and I've been living too Actually, Bob into this. I'm gone. Darn video corruption again. I swear, I'm starting to think maybe I need to get a new capture card or something. Computer needs to Cruel, do something. Cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. Cruel, cruel world, I'm Was I supposed to do exactly? Am I even close?
This is starting to look kind of familiar. Welcome to Blackwater. I checked the gravestones for any cards. I think we're good. Come on, lady. Use this for liquor, all right? You gotta take it. You gotta eat something. Thanks, Thanks partner. I'm all alone. You're a good silly. I'm gonna die all alone with nothing, nothing to show for it. Save my good looks. If okay, I then. A woman, my name of oh, Blue. partner. She'd have it all right. From my head, my knees, my and the beautiful eyes, money can buy. It's my horse. Stay by this post. Don't go wandering off. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But <laughs> I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? 
Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Hey there. Can I help you? Howdy. Out of the way! How do you do? You all having fun? Hmm. Hey. Up. Excuse me. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. I see sand and ocean and palm trees. Find the black flower and you will be rewarded. Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now. Please, I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Okay. Gross, huh? Ooh, a Western Raven. Come on, man. You friend, I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now, that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy. Says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister.
that's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Follow me. Uncle's back. West. West? Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... <laughs> a ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? On a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Here we are. 
Home sweet home. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. help. Well, at least we got a fence set up. Rachel, you gotta stay by your post. Quit wandering off. Me again. Well, hey, Uncle. How about this, eh? Hey? How about it? Oh, all them, what's us three left at the end? I heard Sadie might still be alive. Sadie? How'd you hear that? She sent me a telegram. Said she's in Valentine. Sadie sends you a telegram and you ain't paid a visit on her? What's wrong with you, man? It's been a long time. Oh, time. Sadie wants to see you. You go see her. John Marston, really? Shame on you. Good. Well, you take care now. Well, we burned the breeze long enough, I reckon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a great house. First things first, I need a shave. Come on, Rachel. Heading into town. You're okay. You're okay. my property.
Let's go, girl. Okay, time to shave. and down. Sixty-five degrees. the cowboy. It's the same thing. Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? Morning, partner. Gavin? Well, Please, could you move along? I heard the Gavin guy. I'm looking for Gavin. Be my best friend. What's gotten into your head? He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Good morning. <laughs> really funny it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> Careful. Morning. I'm... I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin. For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um... I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life. Looking... <laughs> I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Gavin! Good luck. Gavin! Oh, I am so oh, Gavin. worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Uh, it never ends around here. Take care, sir. Now done seeing everything. This is just This is just too bad. Good morning, sir. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a haircut. Hi there, come on in. <laughs> He's still going. What was his hair like in the first game? Gav! In! Where the hell are you? Uh, Gav! Where are you? 
He's not here. <laughs> Where are you? Good morning, friend. Why work when there's idleness to be getting on with, huh? Worry about your own affairs, my friend. Will you eh, move? This'll do. This is just just too bad. Don't know if it's exactly the same, but that's basically it. Gavin! Gavin's not here! Ma'am? Good morning, sir. You look like a nice person. Hmm. Well, have a good one, then. Take care. Guess we'll go see Sadie next. Oh my gosh, he's still going. <laughs> <laughs> 